it's Elizabeth, and we're here on board the Pride of America to bring you some amazing advisor-facing videos. Stay tuned for this awesome adventure we're going to bring you on. So Jackie and I are on deck five forward and we are standing right outside the Hollywood Theater. <laughs> you can see up here. Um, this is where all the main stage shows take place and different activities around yes. the ship. Um, they were just doing lay making. Which was so cute. They have three different opportunities yep. on this sailing right now. Three different styles. They did ribbons, they've done the nuts, and then they are going to do the fresh flowers. Yep. So there's different things that happen in here other than shows. So they pay were, attention. They were doing origami earlier origami, as well, which yes. was really fun. Fun, so all sorts of fun things. Yep, but we're gonna take you now through deck five. Um, where we're going is into the Newberry Street shops. So all your shopping's happen in this area, which is really, really cute how they've got the different colors and things like that on the different shops. Oh, it's so fun. It's such a great area. And you'll also notice too, it's really cool because it's like, it's not your standard, standard typical shop. So you really have a lot of different items than you normally mm -hmm. see on board other cruise ships. It does feel like you're walking in a little shopping plaza. Right. As if you were in Hawaii. Exactly. Like if you're, you know, <laughs> walking down Kona or something like that, you might actually see this kind of similar feel and vibe in the, the village as well. Absolutely. You have the Perspective Studios, which is your photography over here. Um, and then you have your photo gallery as well. So it's if you want to get your your portraits done on board, you can. Yeah, professional studio all in here. And it's kind of funny too, because you can see, I mean, this is an older ship, so you can kind of still see, you know, the old school. I mean, you don't have the complete photo walls you used to have, where you have all the pictures <laughs> that were all printed out, but I you can still kind of see yep. everything. You know, now you, a lot more of this happens you these days. You can also days. view them on your phone as well, yeah. uh, your device. If Through you the scan. App. Yep, if you scan the QR code, you can pull them up and look. Or if they have little cards right here. Ta -da. You don't even have to come here if you don't want to. <laughs> yeah. So you have binoculars and here we are, we're in Hawaii. So obviously binoculars look at wildlife and everything else that you want to see. You have some different cameras. You um, forgot yours. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> they do have the new GoPro. Mm -hmm. So we're going to continue walking. We're leaving where the shops are. And that is all the shops. Remember, Pride of America is a smaller ship. Yes. So it doesn't quite have as extensive a collection of shops as <laughs> others, but it's so cute what they do have. Um, but now we're entering into the actual atrium yes. area, which is beautiful. It really is. It took me by surprise when we boarded the ship um, and the detailing that they have. It's just it's very homey, very welcoming. It takes you back a little bit mm -hmm. as well. Yes, definitely decked out in that American theme and vibe and everything that this ship offers as far as its decor mm -hmm. um, based on just classic Americana, clearly by the seal <laughs> on the lobby floor. Absolutely. And it's just so cool too. I mean, there's a Capitol building over there behind, yeah, the uh, I guess, glass services, stained well. glass. I mean, it's really nice. I mean, it does, it is that standard you know, old school class of ship, which yep. is a really cool, it still has a cool feel with that, you know, traditional atrium. But you still have plenty of seating. You have lots of seating around, mm -hmm. um, little nooks and crannies here for seating, lots of windows to make it feel open. Right. Um, which also leads right over here in two. To East Meets West, which is kind of three restaurants in one. Absolutely. The actual East Meets West is um, a dining that anybody can come into. So you want to make reservations. It's a pretty small venue. Um, but then there's also the sushi, mm -hmm. which is for a nominal fee. And then and where we were last night. Last night, which was <laughs> the tempanyaki. So, so that's delicious. a specialty dining. It, it is. And it was so delicious. Um, I had a blast. It was a lot of Fun. It was so fun. They were able to accommodate my allergies, which was amazing. So they cooked my food first and they had a gluten-free teriyaki sauce just for me. Um, and all my food was brought first, cooked first. 
no specialized for me. No cross contamination. Um, and it was delicious. But so. if you do want to do the tempanyaki, they have three seatings mm -hmm. each night. So five, seven, and nine. And you want to make them like as soon as you possibly can because that is going to be the one that probably sells out the fastest. Oh, yes. Yeah, very, absolutely. very limited. But so worth it. Yes. <laughs> you want to see if we can yeah. take a peek in here? Yeah. Let's see if Let's it's see. open. Oh, nope. 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 Not open. Not okay. Oh, well, nope. we're locked. what we'll do then is we will show. I I came in here the other day and took some shots, so maybe I'll add that in. Okay, now let's go back out over here. Now that you guys got to see those restaurants, we had the shore excursion desk this way. So, I mean, this is uber important, obviously, because when you're in Hawaii, you want to go out and explore. You don't want to just stay on the mm -hmm. ship, right? So, uh, you know, they're very knowledgeable. Uh, Jackie and I had a couple questions. We did some uh, waterfalls and rainforest hike, yes. and we weren't sure exactly of a couple things, but we ended up speaking. We did, and speaking of that, they each attend some of these short excursions as well, um, our friends here that sell them to you on board. And they also write their own reviews from their experiences that anybody can access who's working that day, which is really nice. So she pulled up the notes, read us some of the notes from the other uh, friends here that sell them, and it was a great experience being able to choose what we wanted to do based off of that. Yeah, absolutely. Very cool. All right. So we're gonna keep on walking. As you can see, they're, um, we're about mid-afternoon right now, but they're getting ready to set up for tonight to do the different um, photography places. So again, you want to get your, your pictures done, you want to have that memento, then they do them on the steps, they do them with backdrops. So definitely a lot of different places that you can have photos it's, done. It's so funny that you say because they backdrops. So it's like, look at this right here. This actually looks like it's a fake backdrop. Like you'd have, you know, um, <laughs> From one of the other things itself, but it's, I mean, this is actually, you know, midship right here at the atrium itself. And this is one of the spots where you can go and get Gorgeous. those pictures out. Yeah. As we come around to the back of the atrium, we have the John Adams Coffee Bar, which is great. It has um, a limited Starbucks menu. Everybody's favorite. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> which we will say in the Hawaii beverage package that they have here, it does not include your coffee, but um, they do have a Starbucks package as well. Yeah. It does include um, one specialty coffee at your dinner. Oh, oh, that's good. Um, but it's not Starbucks coffee. Yeah. <laughs> but it is a special tea. I'm not sure what that entails. We haven't yeah, we haven't that discovered that yet. yet. <laughs> but we'll have to get back to you on that one, so I'll have to try that out later. Yes. <laughs> Maybe that's the coffee they list on the menu. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> But I did read that though. I was like, hmm, I need to check that out and ask some more questions yes. about that. I'd be interested to know what specialty coffee they're meaning. Right. Yeah, because well, the, the actual Starbucks menu, it is limited. There's not everything at your typical Starbucks that some of the newer ships do have. So I should keep going because I had you guys really. I was going to oh, show good. Jefferson Beach. Yeah, let me move around this way because. So this is another um, specialty restaurant. This is their French dining. So it's called Jefferson Bistro. You need a specialty dining package or purchase it a la carte to be able to eat in here. We're gonna be eating in here tomorrow. I'm <laughs> yeah. so excited. It is beautiful. We got a little sneak peek in there the other day. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Is it's it open. still open? Caden's over there, so if we get in trouble, he'll, oh. he'll bail us out. <laughs> he was a nice gentleman that was, that was uh, waving to us as uh, we were coming through. He's been so helpful. Everybody on the ship's been so helpful. They have. Yeah. It is absolutely beautiful in here. You have this little library over here that Ryan is showing right now. <laughs> I mean, how like quaint like to just sit here. It's almost like you're in this little nook. <laughs> it's it's really cool. I mean, it's a, I, I've never seen something like this on a mm -hmm. ship before. I know the Utopia is gonna have something kind of Kind of like this, I think, from what I've heard. But I mean, think about this. This is Pride of America, American class, you know, American flagship. Well, it's kind of giving like the Noble Office feel yeah, yeah. in a way. Yeah. You know, you have the library and the architecture and the lighting in here, the paintings. It's it's giving White House vibes yeah. and feels, which well, is and just it is beautiful. Jefferson, which mm -hmm. you know, his home was Monte Monticello, so correct. It definitely has some of that feel in it too, with Absolutely. the different paintings, thoroughbred horses, all of that. Mm -hmm. 
And you can see, I mean, this is a smaller venue for dining, so uh, definitely limited. If you want to book this, you need to book it early and make sure that you have a reservation. Look at these two over here. <laughs> They're making fun of me because I started, I, they probably couldn't hear what I was saying when I was walking away. All it's right. the steady handheld walk from Ryan. Oh, the, the Ryan ninja walk. Yes, <laughs> where you walk. squat and walk. <laughs> it's, it's hard. So I mean, um, for all you guys that are watching this, you know, I have this on a stabilizer, but as when you walk regularly, you know, it'll still it'll hop up and down like it is right now. <laughs> but when you try to go and hold it more straight like this, hopefully it's, it's a, a lot more smoother for your viewing pleasure. Uh, <laughs> it's not like the fish and the hula that we learned in doing this. Yes, exactly. <laughs> This is, um, if your clients are on board and they're looking to book a future cruise, this is where they're gonna come to do that. Yeah, so absolutely. make sure you're talking to them about the Cruise Next program. Um, that credit is applied to you, so bear that in mind. And definitely yeah, it's, push it's that. Definitely, and, it, and it's the best deal for your clients because you're gonna be able to make sure that you get extra you know, uh, credits and amenities to be able to use and apply towards short yes. excursions, drink packages, especially dining, whatever it is mm -hmm. that your clients want to go use it for. And it's easy because they're so excited, they're already on board, they want to book again, and it's an easy sale for you to make. So you want to push that Cruise Next program with NCL. Absolutely. All right, so we are heading towards the aft side of the ship. Yes. And this is where your two restaurants will be, your Liberty Restaurant and Skyline Restaurant, which is your standard dining. Yeah, your main dining that's included for everybody. Two different style restaurants that you have, which are both beautiful. Yep, but they do have the same menu. So yes. regardless of which restaurant you decide to eat in, and you can choose, it's freestyle dining, so your clients can choose where they want to be. They just both have different looks, but same menu. Right. Absolutely. See if we can go in. Pop on in. Oh, we can. Hey. Ooh, here we go. <laughs> All right. So, so we'll skyline. start at the skyline. We'll just and show this one first. Only skyline is open for breakfast. Yes. Liberty is not. So if you want that that sit down dining, you don't want to be up at the buffet. This is where you're going to want to come to. So skyline. What's the theme of Skyline? <laughs> it is the skyline of New York City. Absolutely. <laughs> Actually, I never even noticed the little gargoyles on the- You didn't? No, I didn't know they were cute. <laughs> I just saw that. Let's see what Elizabeth is talking about over here. This guy. It's from like, isn't it the Empire State Building? I always remember the guy in the picture from when it was being built standing on one of those and it was terrifying. Yes, <laughs> yes. Funny thing is, being from New Jersey, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Ryan. Says the Kentucky, Florida girl. <laughs> but it's got a great theme. Um, we were talking and we love the fact, you know, with the fact it is an older ship, the tables are actually more spread out. You're they not are. sitting on top of your neighbor like you are in some of the more modern ships. Gives you this nice spacious feel. And one of the really cool things about this restaurant too that I love because it is that older style ship, which I do think it's going to come back. The cruise industry, mark my words, everyone, the cruise industry is going to start to come back a little bit to some of these types of venues because Norwegian's known for having this where, you know, at the back side of the ship, you have windows so you can overlook the back side of the ship, right? Uh, that used to be always be like a standard thing in the, you know, 90s and 2000s of cruise ships. It's kind of gone away from that more recently. So now you're seeing, you know, obviously this, this ship being built in the 2000s, it still has this, but I do think that this is gonna start coming back more and more on new builds, um, because right now you don't see this all the time. A lot of times they're using this, you know, the backside of the ship for other venues. Yeah, I've absolutely loved sitting back here at night mm -hmm. uh, and this morning as well, having breakfast. It's such a beautiful view. It is. It's so peaceful just watching the ship move. <laughs> when I sailed in 2015, we always ended up eating in this restaurant in Skyline and we were, kind of that second to last back window mm -hmm. and it was great and I love being at the back of the ship and just watching like the wake the of the, the ship as it sails it's yes. great it is it, it reminds you it's that traditional cruising that I feel like we've kind of gotten away from a little bit more in recent years which again it's nothing wrong with it it's just sometimes like me you know growing up you know going on cruises <laughs> I always remember you know dining rooms more like this and it's just kind of sometimes space. yeah <laughs> it's and it's nice to kind of have it like this I mean don't get me wrong, the other ones are beautiful too, but this is just something about the traditional, you know? It's almost like you're just, you're slowing down. Yes. And, and I think that's the thing 
almost in a way of a point that Ryan's trying to make is it's everything's go, 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 go. You got to go see the show. You got to go do this. You got to go do that. And being here, it's definitely more vacation, calm. A relaxation. Yes. Yeah. Something that I will say too, uh, which again, obviously seven I, Hawaiian itinerary, you're always going to have, you know, it's about the itinerary. It's not really about the cruise ship itself, but we really, since we've been eating in here, we really haven't had it be a full restaurant where no. we've seen everyone <laughs> waiting out, you know, side for a line and everything. And obviously because it's an itinerary focused, mm -hmm. you know, or a cruise itinerary that's focused on Hawaii and all that stuff. So yeah. So. And it is a full ship. So, yeah. you know, what you see is it's full. So right. we, it's, it's a treat. I'm going to pan up over here for one second. So you guys, ooh, let me actually make this. There we go. Look at that. So this is something different where you have a little bit of the showcasing of the staircase up, which is nice with the stained glass. Which goes right up to Liberty, mm -hmm. yeah, so the Liberty restaurant. We ate here our first evening on board. And it is absolutely beautiful up here the draperies, the statues, and you can even see the difference in chandeliers. Yes. Everything changes. You go from that contemporary skyline to feeling like you are stepping back into the 17 or 1800s with the, the dark wood and the curtains with the stars, the portraits of the presidents, everything mm -hmm. like that. The molding up top, the chandeliers with the candles. And this is right on top of Skyline, and it is, um, you can see it's a little less table, so it's even more roomy up here. Um, takes up the same footprint, but mm -hmm. less, less activity. Now this is on deck six. Yep. So we did go up one deck, but we wanted the, instead of you know, showcasing this on deck six, we you showcase it on deck five because it's part of the restaurant itself. All right, well, what do you think? I think it's great. I think we've done a great job showing you this. Uh, we're definitely gonna show you each of the different decks, different places that we can go, but we'll call it um, a day on this deck, and then we're gonna go explore the rest of deck six in another video. Absolutely.